Hello guys, welcome back to our video. Today we are playing Call of War once again and we are playing Italy. We are trying to reform the Roman Empire and as you can see, we have basically annexed all of Yugoslavia. It seems like it uh, went pretty well. All of this also has a pretty high uh, morale so it's wonderful, this is very good. We will actually keep all of this territory which is beautiful. Nothing will revolt and no problems for us. Turkey is expanding over here, which is kind of problematic, they will be our number one enemy. But we will try to annex Greece, and after that we will go after Turkey. We have a message from someone, it's Romania. I like peace between us if possible, we have other much bigger enemies on our borders. Okay, we will take that. Yes, uh, we would like, like to keep peace between our nations, as long as you don't intervene in Bulgaria and Turkey. So it seems like this went pretty well, this is very very good for us. Even if France is basically gone at this point, we'll still take all of their uh, African territories, as well as uh, Corsica over here, and this as well. We need to rush for that probably because Turkey may want to take that. We can go to research, do we research anything? I don't think so, we don't need anything, so that is good I guess. We have a bunch of resources, we have built a bunch of stuff and captured a lot as well. Seems to be going pretty well, we probably lost quite a lot of uh, units over here. Yeah, but not too many, not, not an insane amount, you know? So that's good I guess. The problem I have is Germany is allied to the Soviet Union and they will probably be a bit too strong. Sweden over here is kind of falling to Norway, they have lost their capital, very interesting. I hope Germany doesn't intervene in our lands, uh, in our conflicts and everything, hopefully that doesn't happen. If it doesn't, you know, we kinda lost already, but you know, oh well, can't do much about that. Let's build up Venice a little bit, that's probably gonna be the last level, we'll do. Florence as well, we're gonna need a lot of uh, oil, Zagreb too, let's build that up, gonna need it. Uh, Bologna and Naples too, make sure to build those up as well. We also start building more tank plants. Here in Rome let's build one, let's prepare for uh, you know mobilization, for building more mediums, let's build a medium there as well. We won't build anything else I think, we don't need, uh, I guess we don't need anything. Let's uh, build more uh, infantry over here as well, this is probably gonna be one of the last days. We can build infantry at a reasonable time limit but that's still three days there how much is it here for example that's uh, a day two days so yeah that's gonna be the last time i guess we'll be building them because it's not gonna be worth it anyway we got this we need to prepare for war with turkey and greece hopefully we can have peace with germany though since the soviet union is an ally of theirs this could be a problem but hopefully it won't be right now we'll probably send more uh, infantry and more units over to here so we can actually take out france in africa so let's uh, let's start sending more units just probably most of these ones that we just made send them all to tripoli over here we'll keep the artillery though it's not you know worth uh, sending them over Ger I, I really hope germany won't attack us we also want to attack switzerland but their terrain is very horrible to fight in, so I don't know if it's worth it. I guess we'll see. I think a big part of uh, Germany's army is actually gone now, because they went straight through the match. Now, if I wanted to, I think I could probably even take them out if I sent all of my units. There's a possibility, but I don't. I, I won't risk it, you know? I just hope uh, this goes well. Anyway, uh, Turkey doesn't have any units starting off, so I think we can just take them out with all of our units soon. We also send um, a large chunk of uh, our artillery and our units over here from the French border, over here at uh, the border with Bulgaria. And uh, that border will be with Turkey soon, so we will probably be attacking them soon enough. But we also want to take Greece, if we can agree that I can take Greece, then you know I, I'm kind of fine with that, but I still need to attack Turkey at some point anyway. They probably don't have many units over here, if I send like... Four infantry, I think I can take them out. Yeah, we'll probably do that a bit later, I think. We have five units here still. Let's send them all over here to prepare to invade French Syria and Lebanon. So yeah, don't know what we're doing next. I guess we could attack Turkey already, but we don't have to, that's for sure. Attacking Greece could be a better option right now. Although Germany will always be a kind of a 
pain in the ass over here. Doesn't matter, let's send uh, most of our units over here. And hopefully we'll be able to take out Greece tomorrow. Hopefully this is gonna be enough units. There we go, that should be enough I think. It's not very much, but it's a decent amount. And we are preparing to invade uh, France as well as uh, their colony over here. While preparing to invade Turkey and uh, going for an invasion of uh, Greece. So that's, uh, that's, that's a lot of things we are doing, you know. So uh, hopefully that goes well. If we can take out Turkey, there's nobody, you know, that can really fuck with us very much. Not here, Romania, no. Uh, Germany, yeah, yeah, and the Soviet Union. But we probably won't have border with the Soviet Union for a while. Until we take Turkey, probably. That's a short border, though, and we can get a non-aggression pact, at least. Germany, uh, without a capital, is kind of struggling over here. You see, their economy has definitely fallen a lot, so, yeah. And with, uh, with them going through the match, no, I can't imagine they have a big, uh, big army. Their army def is definitely hurt. At least I uh, hope so. If not very destroyed, then hopefully they don't have much health and they will need time to recover. To, you know, invade us if they will, which I hope they don't. Because, you know, that's kind of very bad if they, you know, will invade us. Because it won't work out then, you know. I mean, if you take Greece, we already have a lot. Of land like we basically got the big chunk of the Byzantine Empire uh, and you know this part here as well which is very nice if I take Bulgaria and all of this as well then I got I'm pretty good we also take Turkey out and you know we are uh, very strong then we also will attack uh, the UK and uh, France so we'll other than just uh, Anatolia get to this this and then we'll go over here and also we'll have all of Africa basically also Iraq and you know then Spain, it's basically done at that point. It doesn't take that much. So from now on, we just take Greece, attack uh, French Africa and uh, uh, Syria and Lebanon. Then attack Turkey, take Turkey out, uh, attack uh, the UK, take this, take Cyprus, take this, take Gibraltar maybe, Iraq, Egypt, and over here, Tiberia. So that's, uh, that's the plan. Seems uh, pretty good, I guess. Hopefully we will actually be able to win and do something. But anyway, I think this will be the end of this video. Not too long, but you know, pretty good at the end of the day. We will end it right here. And uh, well, see you tomorrow. Goodbye.